thing winner now nah, my sister wanted me to do that so hey everybody this is Matt with Texas Toast and today I'm at the winner Nam show and I'm hanging out with my buddies from guitar wood experts Dan and Alan and they're gonna show us a bunch of new stuff that is roasted and cool and toasted and cool and Take it away, guys. And it's oh. great, but you know what? Before we do, though, it's really good to see both of you guys again. Oh, I, know. I haven't seen you in a year. I haven't seen you in six months. I know. And yeah, yeah it's just really cool that you know we have this this community of guitar makers and wood wood suppliers. And thanks for being here and, and oh, but, helping us out with everything. You, you know what? It's just so nice to actually be here and actually meet the people that yeah. create these amazing things. I mean, that's the thing. Um, whenever you see a piece of wood. It's not just a piece of wood. It's like there's a guitar in there that they carve out and, and then it makes a difference in someone's life. Yeah. You know, and you just can't get that. I was going to say something corny, but you actually had something really good to say there about that. So, yeah. So, it speaking of and speaking of that. pieces of wood though, yeah. This is a piece of roasted burl. You oh, guys are yeah. kind of like the go-to guys for roasted material yeah, right we, now. We're trying new things out all the time. And uh, we have two pieces here. Uh, Alan, why don't you go ahead and tell us a little bit about yeah. the roasting process. You bet. So, big leaf maple grows in the Pacific Northwest. It's normally light in color, whitish. And we put it into a torification kiln at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for about five days. And it basically ages it about 500 years, at least 200, okay? But what it does, it turns a beautiful honey color. All the highlights start to come out. And we think it's just stunning. It is cool. We've, we've got a bunch of roasted material from you guys, and all of it is neat, but all of it was fairly like plain, and this year you got all got kinds of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Totally yeah. You want to show us some more? You bet. Yeah. Cool. Dan, all right. So, let's start off here with the maple. Maple's really a big, big item. Um, you know, for the guitar building industry, it's yeah. just been the staple. I mean, it's a safe, stable wood. And when we roast the maple, the fibers, when they're crystallized, become incredibly shiny and what that does it adds the depth that you normally wouldn't be able to get in a lot of this flame and quilt and you're seeing it really come out in these rich rich tones um, so for instance here's a little tiny piece and this is off of a 3a okay and you can just see if that wasn't roasted you wouldn't see that like we do on, no okay no not the way how much it shines it's just amazing this there's no finish on this I just broke it off a piece of wood here it's that's just, that's cool. That's man. just crazy. Yeah, yeah. It's just beautiful. So you've got some more roasted ash, and you've got you've Roast. got a big hunk of it. That's oh yeah. One piece is roasted, and the other piece is yeah. is regular. Let's let's, go take a let's check that out. Now this whole piece here uh, was just one solid board. So you can see the grain lines. Yeah, just matching right up there. But now we did this on purpose because a lot of people always ask the question, what does it really do to the wood? Yeah. Well, the problem is you pick up two pieces of wood they're going to be different this is the same piece and so it kind of helps push it out for you can actually see it yeah um, you can see the shrinkage that happens it's very minute but you can see now how the grains it's been brought in slightly and the other thing that you're going to notice is when you hit the wood it's going to sound different now so i don't know if we can pick up the tone let's try let's try nicely. smacking okay. it okay ready Oh yeah, that's totally different. Yeah, that's neat. Yeah, and as the fibers, when, when they're crystallized, they become much more kinetically responsive. And like we talked about last year, it's more than just changing color and oh, making yeah. it drier. You're actually altering the, the internal structure of the material, right? Exactly. Okay. So just like Alan said, when, you're, when you want aged wood, that's yeah. great. The problem is our lifespans and most of our bank accounts <laughs> don't allow us to really yeah. get the products that we want. Yeah. This is getting a product out to people and really utilizing the products that we have instead yeah. of going after that old growth. Yeah, you know? which is cool, yeah. So it's sustainable, but you get those tones that you want. Exactly, we're trying to offer it to the public. Okay. Yeah, Alan's got a very special project here to show. Oh, so basically. Oh, I met the guy who made this. We have a guitar here made out of the roasted swamp ash right here. So you see, basically it takes it from a very light tan color to a very beautiful honey color. And then also, it was, actually this it was that, that's the off cut. We sold that one this morning. You sold it? Yeah. We did. Did you really? Because that yeah. was going to make my next base out uh, of that. We'll have to find a better, All right, all right. We'll find it. Well, how about just another one? Because that's a cool Excellent. Okay. And also, with bird's eye maple, we have a white bird's eye maple fingerboard. Now, but hold on. Get a load of this, because I know what's coming next. We're going to roll it over and see the roasted bird's eye neck. Yeah, that's that's... 
That is really, really cool. So this is really our showcase guitar on roasted products. Roasted swamp ash and roasted bird's eye maple neck. And then we put the coloration in unroasted. Very cool. Very, very cool. Okay, so now Dan's going to tell us a little bit about some mahogany because uh, we've talked about the uh, the, the ash, we've talked about maple, a lot of domestic woods. Now we're going to talk about some some exotic imports. Exactly. Well, I don't know how exotic, but we're talking about mahogany. Right. Okay. So mahogany uh, is just a wonderful board. Yeah. I mean, it's a very warm sound. People love it. Um, but there have been now some requests for roasted mahogany. I was wondering about that when we were talking about the yeah, ash. Okay. So we're like, you know what, let's give it a try. So we roasted the wood. And as you can see, it almost turns like a purple now. You know what's cool about it yeah. is like we talked about just a few seconds ago, mm -hmm. how you get that old growth flavor, that, that sonic profile exactly. that you don't get with newer lumber. And now you've got it in, okay, yeah. all right. And so this wonderful color comes out, the sound comes out real nice. Yeah. Nice. It lowers the weight about 9% across the board. That's pretty good. Which is really good when you think about it. Um, this is some roasted, this is a roasted neck blank that we did. Also mahogany? Also mahogany. Man, look at that. That looks right? great too. Ah, it's just gorgeous. And now I'm going to show you a trick that we did with some granadillo. Okay. Okay. So we had a gentleman, uh, Russ, uh, was it Cudney? Russ was a wonderful person for us. He actually cut this out with us for lasers to show this. Remember when you sent me a fretboard with lasers? The same guy did it? Same okay. Guy. He's All right. at it. Now, this one here, this is granadillo. Okay. It's wonderful wood. It's actually known as the wood that sinks. Okay. That's what it's called. Now, we took the same wood and we roasted it. Oh! We now have an ebony substitute. Can I, when can I buy some? You can order it now. All right. Yeah. You can order it now. Because I, 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 want, I want a bunch of it all right, right away. It's amazing what happened when we roasted it. Because you never know what's going to happen with the color. We roast alder, doesn't much happen. Yeah. Ash gets darker. Maple gets dark. Granadillo, turn black. Perfect. That's what we were looking for. You, you know, you know how much money you just saved me because I've got I've got half a dozen people who I'm doing ebony fretboards for now. Right. That I'm not doing ebony fretboards no. for right now. And this is only a five dollar <laughs> upcharge. Yeah. It's okay. gonna be an industry changer. I I absolutely think so because it's so hard to get. And you know, for as much as I liked some of those um, uh, phenolic materials, they're hard on tools. And they're hard on my back. Yeah. We actually do market those too. Okay, and, do you? you know, when we get a sheet of it in, I almost want to call it dark matter because it takes yeah. like four of us just to like yeah. lift the thing up. Yeah. But I can't vault it because it is perfect every inch of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah there's no waste, no anything like that. that it's neat. Wonderful. But I tell you what, though, if you want to use real wood oh, yeah. and you got to have it be like black like ebony, man, that's cool. Yeah. That's really very good. cool. It's really fun. Well, Dan, thanks for uh, having us back again. And it's really good to see you as always. Yeah, you too, man. And uh, I got to order some more ash from you. I got to order some of that roasted granadillo yep and um what else well we got well then maybe I, think, we'll, I think we're good i think we're good yeah i think we, we got a lot of stuff we showed absolutely man yeah. i mean i'm, and I'm blown away back, by a lot of that I stuff get back to work my you boss got, will kill me at a point you got some customers so hey everybody this is matt from the nam show and i'm with my buddy dan hey. and remember if you're so smart build it yourself that's what i do and dan helps me out thanks that's a million right. dan hey thank you all right man